Hello, everyone. Thank you for signing on to today's Amtrak Vacations presentation, Life on Board Coast to Coast Rail Vacations. I'm so excited to have all of you here on the presentation with me today. Uh, we already have those uh, that are saying they're happy to be on the presentation. So thank you for that. And uh, let's just uh, jump in here. Now, before we get started, I do want to let you folks know that we have four free downloadable handouts on the side of the GoToWebinar panel. One is highlighting the Amtrak sleeper accommodations. One is the Amtrak vacations systems map. One is highlighting some of the coast-to-coast -coast packages, and one highlighting the Go Beyond Backyard Sale, which is going on right now, and I'll go over that momentarily. Popping up onto your screen now is a photo of me, your host, Jarrett Kettinger. Now, I look recognized by my photo, I look a little youthful. Believe it or not, I've actually been with Amtrak Vacations for going on seven years now. And so if any of you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to type them into the questions box at any time, the questions box located on the side of the GoToWebinar platform. I'll answer any and all questions at the end of the presentation today. Additionally, I did want to uh, invite you to be interactive during the presentation, as I like to have some, um, some interaction and get people involved so you feel like you're a part of the presentation as well. And you can do that by typing your answers to my questions into the questions box on the side of the GoToWebinar platform. So let's get started. First off, I want to see where everyone is from, where you're dialing in from, where you're calling in from. I'll get us started. My name is Jared Kettinger. I'm calling in from Danvers, Massachusetts. Now you folks, put your name and where you are calling in from, your hometown, your state, wherever you'd like to you know, let us know you're calling in from. We have, let's see, Julie from Guy, Texas, Larry Smith, Margaret, Detroit, Michigan, Dan, Renton, Washington, Tammy Doucette, Troy, New York, uh, Larry from Beaverton, Oregon, Steve, Raleigh, North Carolina, Susan from London, Jim from Cleveland, Nancy, Hollywood, Florida, Jack from Peters, Missouri, Joanne from Gloucester, Mass, but live in Saco, Maine. Okay. Patricia from Chicago, Michael from Ohio. Uh, let's see, Corpus Christi, Ravona from Maryland, Janice from Southern California, Vernon from Kansas City, Marianne from Middle... Middleville, Michigan. Roger from Sandusky. Okay. Candace from Covington. Leonard from PA. Okay, excellent. This is how I like to start off the presentation. I like everybody, you know, we're all happy to be from our hometowns or proud of our hometowns. So I like to start getting everybody involved right from the beginning. Stay just as energetic and uh, and keep going. Roger from Galleon here. Hi, Roger. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Roger. Galleon here. Michael Taylor. What will we cover today's presentation? Number one, what we will cover? Amtrak coast-to-coast -coast train routes. Security precautions during COVID-19. Popular vacation packages. And we, will, of course, will have time for Q&A at the end of the presentation. Uh, we have Dick from Annapolis, Maryland. Very cool. Welcome. Popping up onto your screen now is the Amtrak Vacations Systems Map. Everywhere you folks are seeing a colorful line on the map, that's a route that Amtrak travels on. Everywhere you're seeing a dark blue or navy blue dot, that's a destination that Amtrak Vacations travels to where we have a package where we bundle the hotels, the sightseeing, and the attractions all bundled together with the rail travel experience. So it's a full vacation experience. Question folks, and you are all so great about responding to the first question, but just to cover, who here was aware prior to this webinar that Amtrak Vacations booked hotel vacation packages along with the rail? Yes, no, me, okay. 
All right, good. We have mostly yeses, but we do have some noes. Now, I'm not going to call out those that said no, because the reason we do webinars such as this is for, to remind those that did know that we do that. And for those that did not know, here is some great information for you. Let me cover the maximum flexibility offer for you folks. Any new reservations can change travel dates or cancel as long as Amtrak Vacations is informed up to five days prior to departure. And any existing reservations can reschedule as long as Amtrak Vacations is informed five days prior to departure. And I do like the interaction. Janice said, I like the variety of the hotels offered. Well, we will go over a little bit more on that in a moment, but thank you, Janice. I like the compliment. We appreciate that. It's important to note that all rail vacations are customizable to come from your most local hometown. So you're gonna see some packages in a moment that start in Washington, D.C., that might start from Chicago, et cetera. However, there are over 500 different stations to depart from. And so while we may have created a package that seemingly starts from Chicago, that doesn't mean we can't have you coming from Florida, from Pennsylvania, from Oregon, from Texas, from Massachusetts. There are over 500 different stations to choose from. Does that make sense? Okay, good. Bunch of yeses came across. Good. And Janice just pointed out that she liked the selection of the hotels offered. And I'm glad because we offer hotel options at three, four, and five star levels. So if you are used to more of a luxury travel, that's great. We can cover it. If you're more budget oriented, we can focus on that as well. If you have a certain brand that you're loyal to, or you accrue points off of when you stay there, we can accommodate that just the same. We have a menu of hotel options for you to choose from at each of the destinations, which is great because that way you can select where you stay. For example, there are other companies such as like the motor coach bus companies that you'll have to stay at whatever hotels they chose for you, not that you chose for yourself. With us, there's a variety of options to pick from. And what does customize mean? Because we said that we could customize to come from your most local hometown. We can give you options of hotels to pick from, but let's kind of elaborate on this. Imagine you were interested in the Rails to the Grand Canyon itinerary. Now that itinerary includes overnight train travel from Los Angeles, California, down to historic Route 66, Williams, Arizona on the Amtrak. Upon arriving in Williams, you actually board another train, the Grand Canyon Railway, which travels from Williams into the south rim of the canyon, where you would stay for two nights at one of the lodges and do some sightseeing. After the two nights were over, you would take the Grand Canyon Railway train back to Williams in the Amtrak overnight back to Los Angeles. Now, we have some different hotels to pick from. We have one that's basically our foundation hotel, but say you wanted to upgrade to the historic El Tavar that sits on the ledge of the canyon. As long as you let us know, we would check on the availability and say, okay, no problem, it's available, let's get you booked. And then you said, okay, not only do I wanna upgrade the lodge at the south rim of the canyon, but when we get back to Los Angeles, we like to stay there a little bit. And so we may take our Los Angeles getaway, which includes two nights hotel accommodations in the city with a sightseeing tour of the stars homes up through the Hollywood Hills and add it to the rails to the Grand Canyon package. So we would combine two itineraries and upgrade the lodging. Does this make sense when I say here at Amtrak Vacations, we can customize any of our trips to fit your particular requests. Does that make sense to you? Boom, Susan said yes, Leonard said yes, Steve, Ravonda, George. Boom, 
Margaret, Patricia, Richard, Robert, Roger. Okay, awesome. But yeah, bunch of yeses down the board. That's good. So the big question, how is Amtrak maintaining a safe environment during the COVID-19 crisis? Number one, facial coverings are required to be worn by both the employees of Amtrak as well as the travelers in the stations, on the platforms, on the trains, and on the throughway bus services. Enhanced cleaning protocols have been put into place so that the train stations and the equipment, which is the trains themselves, both inside and outside, are cleaned frequently, every day, multiple times daily. Where possible and applicable, Amtrak is going cashless and contactless. So say you were on the train and you wanted to go down to the cafe car and grab a bag of potato chips and a soft drink, if it's possible for you, you to utilize a credit card or a debit card, as opposed to paper money changing hands, Amtrak is encouraging it. Now, they're not saying they absolutely won't take that currency, but if you have the option of using a debit or credit card, they'll probably ask and see if that option is available to you. Also, as I've been calling them, the conductors have been using the bleep bleepers, which are really just devices on their cell phones that they come to confirm your tickets on, as opposed to taking the ticket, examining it for confirmation, they just bleep bleep. Social distancing posters and floor stickers are placed in all of the stations and trains are running at a 50% less capacity. When I say that, I mean 50% less ridership. And in terms of enhanced cleaning protocols, of course, they're cleaning, they're being cleaned daily with special solvents. Of course, the face masks are being washed, gloves are being used, things are being taken care of. Now, why take the train? Well, the, there's two photos here in this slide. To the left, you see a photo that was actually taken by one of our own employees on a vacation holiday they booked for themselves last year. So they went on a trip, they booked on a motor coach bus tour. They've never actually been on a motor coach bus tour before and they had a less than savory time. They were stuck with a bunch of strangers, they had to be up at exactly 6 a.m. so that they could breakfast and be ready for the bus at 7.30, to be at the first stop by 9.45, to then get back on the bus an hour and a half later, to be at lunch at 11.30 in the morning, so on and so forth. They couldn't customize the trips. They couldn't uh, you know, go at their own pace. They were stuck shoulder to shoulder with strangers. I, I don't encourage that. <laughs> I like Vernon's response. Ugh, nightmare. I, I agree with you 100%. Then there's the opposite way, going at your own speed, or at least the train speed, being driven by those driving the train, enjoying the sights from the window of the train, customizing the trip to get it just the way you like it, just the way you want to travel. That, that's exactly what we want to do. Now, I did announce that there is the Go Beyond Your Own Backyard sale event going on right now. So let me go over that. On any package that's three to six nights in length, you can save $300 per couple. On any package that is seven to nine nights in length, you can save up to $400 per couple. And on any package that is 10 plus nights long, you can save up to $500 per couple. So I highly encourage you folks, as we do have our maximum flexibility offer for any new bookings, if you would like to get something booked, give us a call following the presentation. Let me ask you, since I have you, are there any places in the America's backyard 
that is beyond your backyard that you would like to travel in 2020? Feel free. I'll get us started off. This year, I would like myself to head up into Portland, Oregon, and maybe eventually into Seattle. Do any of you have any idea of where you might like to travel? National parks? The, Margaret said the Grand Tetons. Richard said he wants to head out into Phoenix. Roger said maybe the music cities, Nashville and Memphis. Steve said Niagara Falls. Love Niagara Falls, Steve. I've been there many times. Well, let's see. Candace saying coast to coast via the south and back via the north. Patricia said up into Glacier in Montana. Vernon said coast to coast by train has always been my dream. Larry said Glacier Park. Uh, Ravonda said Toronto. Evelyn said just out to visit her son. Hey, that's a valid point as well. You got to go visit family, see friends and family as well. Thank you, folks. Well, right now, again, we have the Go Beyond sale happening now. So let's cover some of the Coast to Coast packages. Now, this first package is the Northern Rail Experience, and it's notable for two particular reasons. Number one, as you can see by the red arrows on the map, Everywhere there's a number with a red arrow, that's the amount of overnights on board the train. Everywhere you see a bubble with a number in it, that's the amount of overnights at a hotel at a destination. So you can see clearly that this itinerary focuses more on the long distance train travel and less on the destination piece. So for those that just wanna get on the train, sit back, relax, spend a, you know, a week or so, a little bit longer, and just enjoy the countryside, this is a great itinerary. Also, the second point that's notable on this is that it travels on the number three, then number two, and then number one, in that order, most scenic rail routes on the Amtrak system. The Empire Builder, the third most scenic rail route, traveling along the northern cusp of the country, up through the big sky area of Montana, and into Seattle. Then the Coast Starlight, which regularly ranks as the second most scenic railroad on the Amtrak system, moving south through the Cascade Mountain Range, eventually cusping along the Pacific coastline and into the Bay Area of San Francisco. And then the number one most scenic railroad on the Amtrak system, the California Zephyr, going through the uh, Sierra Nevada mountain range, in, through the deserts in Nevada, the Colorado Rocky Mountains, and back into Chicago. And along the way, you can see the Emerald City of Seattle. Here's a couple of examples of what will, you will experience on the Coast Starlight. Again, regularly ranked as the second most scenic rail route on the Amtrak system. And then you'll visit out by the Bay City of San Francisco. So that, folks, is the Northern Rail experience. And while I will answer most of the questions at the end of the presentation, if you ask me questions during it that's relevant, I will answer them as they come across as well. For example, Michael just asked me, can you stay for one night only in San Francisco? Absolutely. We can customize or rework the itinerary. So Michael, if you did want to do just one night in each of the destinations, that's no problem. And the prices you're seeing are prices, uh, you're welcome, Michael. Michael said thank you. Prices per person based on a double occupancy. And you can see that not only hotels and train are included, but by the slide, you can see that sightseeing is included as well. So let's go highlighting some of our coast to coast trips. And there's a reason I said it like that. Highlights of America coast to coast. I love this itinerary because it hits three major popular US cities, Washington DC, Chicago, and Los Angeles, with a stop to see the Grand Canyon as well. During the stay in DC, you'll include some sightseeing, which will take you all throughout the city with you'll have free access to the Smithsonian's. You'll get to see the beautiful monuments uh, as you travel through. And then from there, you'll head on 
the Capital Limited, which travels through some of the uh, lush forests heading into the Midwest, as well as over some of the historic bridges. As you can see, this is a great itinerary to depart in in the fall. So one to note to travel through maybe during the leaf peeping times in autumn. You'll head out into Chicago. With sightseeing included there, you can see the River North Loop area, as well as the Bean in Millennium Park. Then you'll take the Southwest Chief, which will head from Chicago down through the heartland of the country and through the deserts in Red Rocks of the southwestern part of the United States. And it is worth noting that, as I mentioned before on the Rails to the Grand Canyon itinerary, and it's the same on this itinerary, you do round trip rail service on the Grand Canyon Railway. We base our package in the coach accommodations on the Grand Canyon Railway train, which is a fine level of accommodations. They're comfy. However, when you're going to the Grand Canyon, it's usually a once in a lifetime experience. And so you may inquire with your Amtrak Vacations uh, booking consultant to see if there's availability for first class on the Grand Canyon Railway, which includes more plush, comfy seating and access to refreshments. A little bar that has juices, soft drinks, coffee, snacks, pastry, fruit, etc., or even the observation dome car, which has the windows that go domed all the way up to the roof, which also has more plush, comfy seating as well as refreshments included. And then you'll head out to do a stay and sightseeing at the south rim of the Grand Canyon with plenty of opportunities for picture taking for these great sites that you'll see. And I love this next slide popping up for you folks. It is the Grand Canyon Historic Village. So when you're staying down there, you will actually get to travel around this centralized historic village neighborhood there. It's not just staying at the South Rim at a lodge. You'll have plenty to do. By the way, folks, Janice, said that she highly recommends the business first class seating as compared to the coach on the Grand Canyon Railway. It's extremely comfortable. So that's an endorsement from Janice who's on the presentation with us today. And then from there, you'll head on to Los Angeles, the city of angels to complete the trip. So that folks is the highlights of America coast to coast. Next, we have America coast to coast, DC to San Francisco. So this is a, a variation of the previous package, which will visit DC and Chicago, but then we'll travel on the coast, uh, sorry, the California Zephyr. Does anybody remember what ranking the California Zephyr is in terms of scenic rail route on the Amtrak system? Mentioned it before. Anybody remember where, where its ranking is? Margaret got it right away. Steve got it. Number one, the California Zephyr is the number one most scenic railroad. As a friendly reminder, it travels through the Colorado Rocky Mountains. When I say through, I don't mean that it travels near the mountains. I don't mean that you can see the mountains from the window of the train. I mean the train system has literally blown tunnels through the mountains so that you will travel through the mountains, through the tunnels, and you'll once you're outside of the tunnels, the mountain range will envelop you all around on both sides. So like I mentioned, you'll start in Washington, D.C., which has one of the most historic and beautiful Amtrak stations to travel out of as well as Chicago, which is the major hub of Amtrak and conveniently located in the heart of the Windy City. And then eventually head out to San Francisco to complete the trip. And here you folks can see the Golden Gate Bridge, Pier 39. By the way, we have multiple hotel options down on Pier 39, as well as some more in the uh, deeper part of the city and you can visit throughout during tours 
for the hop on, hop off, double decker buses all throughout the city, including stops near the Painted Ladies, the houses you can see on the slide there. So that is America coast to coast, DC to San Francisco. And then last but certainly not least, on a very, very popular brand new itinerary. Literally, this was just created a few weeks ago and it's already sold bully for us. Coast to coast Southern Rails. So this is notable because it travels on two of the Southern Amtrak routes. I can tell you, having worked for Amtrak vacations for many years, most people focus on the more Northern routes. The Southern routes themselves though, are incredible, tr beautiful train routes to travel on. And so this one departs from DC and then it heads down to the Bayou Way of New Orleans. And then from there on the Sunset Limited, running from New Orleans to San Antonio, and then San Antonio on its full run out to Los Angeles. Here you can see the Crescent Route. The Crescent Route is notable because it does travel along some famous uh, battlefield, uh, 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 near some famous battlefields during the Civil War. It is, uh, it is notated during the, during the ride out long. You'll head down to New Orleans where we will include a tour that will travel through the French Quarter, we'll travel out to the Garden dist District, the bayous, et cetera. And then from here, there you'll take the Sunset Limited on its full route, traveling through San Antonio where you will have admission to the Alamo as well as the Buckhorn uh, Museum and Texas Ranger Museum. And then eventually, into Los Angeles. Preparing for your rail vacations. What you need to know. Number one, you can bring two carry-ons of up to 50 pounds each per person and two check bags of up to 50 pounds each per person. By the way, there's no cost to it. It's completely free to you. You can check your luggage 45 minutes to an hour ahead of time. And in fact, that's actually when we normally suggest getting to the station is 45 minutes to an hour ahead of time. It's not like the airports where you have to get there an hour and a half to two hours, three hours if you're flying international, you can get there 45 minutes to an hour ahead of time and comfortably board the train. So the accommodations, the first level of which is the coach accommodations, which are two big plush seats that recline at a 45 degree angle. There's plenty of legroom. In fact, we normally say that there's more legroom on the Amtrak in a basic coach seat than you would get in a business plus or a first class seat on the airline. Outlets to charge devices in, plenty of room above head to store your luggage, tray tables that will fold down for drinks, snacks, laptops, etc., and the nice big picture window to enjoy all the sights out of. Because with Amtrak, whether you're traveling in the coach accommodations or the most deluxe cabin, we want everyone to enjoy the sights from the window of the train. And this was a process put in place even before social distancing and COVID-19, but it's worth noting that when you are booking a sleeper cabin, those that are booked into them have priority boarding onto the train ahead of everyone else. What does that mean? It means that they can get on before the big general admission and the big crowd boarding the train. And once they are inside, they'll have their own cabin with a door that will shut and lock, which is, the way it's always been, but the thing that's notable, as I mentioned, when traveling on board the train and through the stations, you have to wear facial coverings as is required. However, once you are in your cabin with the door shut and locked from the inside, the facial coverings can be removed. The first level of sleeper accommodation is the roomette, which has two big plush comfy seats a tray table that will fold down, a nice big picture window to enjoy all the sights out of, 
And you're probably looking at this and saying, I don't see a bathroom accommodation in the room itself. That's true. The bathroom accommodations are down the hall. There's three to four bathrooms in every roomette car. And every roomette car has its own private uh, car attendant that's constantly cleaning out those bathrooms. It's also worth noting that only those in that roomette car have access to those bathrooms. And given that Amtrak is traveling at a 50% less ridership, there is 50% less in those roomettes. But if you want your own sleeper accommodation with a private bathroom in the room itself, the next step up is the sleeper bedroom, which has a long couch. It's the bigger of the rooms on the train with a nice big picture window to enjoy the sights out of. Everything still folds down a bunk style sleeper as it did in the roomette, but it has its own private bathroom and shower in the room itself. And here you can see another angle so you can kind of get an idea of the how the format of the room, the bedroom is with the long couch, as you can see the lady kind of resting there against the door. And we always get the question, can we bring a bottle of wine onto the train? Can we bring on a spirit, what have you? Yes, and it can be consumed on the train as long as you consume it in a sleeper compartment. What does that mean? It means you have to be booked into a sleeper compartment to use it. Dining on the train is included whenever you have a sleeper compartment and it's factored into the pricing of that compartment. So imagine on say the uh, Northern Rail Experience where you had two nights going across from Chicago to Seattle, one night from Seattle, San Francisco, and then one night back from San Francisco back to Chicago for two nights. All those meals during that duration of the travel already factored into the pricing of the cabin. So you don't have to take your wallet out every single time to eat. The value is inherent within the cost of those cabins. Now there is a dining car on the train, but if you wanted your meals delivered to your cabin so you can social distance so you're not there with strangers you might not know, that is completely fine. The train car attendant will of course take your uh, your meal uh, your order for your meal and deliver it to the dining car they'll prepare it and then they'll bring it back down for you as a friendly reminder on the maximum flexibility offer any new reservations can change the travel dates or cancel as long as we're informed five days prior to departure and any existing reservations can be rescheduled as long as we're informed five days prior to departure. My good friend Janice is uh, hype, uh, uh, hyping up again saying, I booked a bedroom four years ago, Los Angeles to Texas, and the food was amazing in all caps. Thank you, Janice. I very much appreciated your compliments and your take on things during the presentation. Keep it up if you have anything else to contribute. Everyday discounts. Children aged 2 to 12 years old receive a 50% discount off the cost of the Amtrak ticket. And any uh, seniors, 65 and over, veterans, and then any active military personnel, spouses, and dependents will receive a 10% discount off the rail portion of the Amtrak package. Then here are some options. Feel free to sign on to AmtrakVacations.com. Check out some other destinations we might not have highlighted today. Upcoming webinars, July 14th and 15th, seven incredible U.S. national parks. July 21st and 22nd, round trip getaways with Amtrak Vacations. And July 29th and 30th, overnight rail journeys with Amtrak Vacations. Don't forget there are four free downloadable handouts on the side of the GoToWebinar platform, Amtrak sleeping accommodations flyer, Amtrak system map flyer, coast to coast flyer, and one highlighting the go beyond your backyard sale. And just to re-highlight the go beyond your backyard sale, you can save $300 per couple on any three to six night trip 
$400 for a couple on any seven and nine night trip and $500 on any 10 plus night trip. And I brought this up before, but maybe your opinion on things of where you want to go has changed since you saw some different options, or maybe one of the packages stood out for you. But now, what destinations are you interested in, and when might you want to go? As you answer that question, I'm going to start rolling through your questions and start answering them for you. Let's see. So are transfers to and from the hotels covered? So that's a very good question. There is no transportation covered on our packages between the train stations and the hotels. The reason why is the train stations are most of the time right in the downtown areas of the cities. And the hotels are right in the downtown areas of the cities. And so if we were to book you a transfer, the transfers are usually the luxury sedan transfers. That's how most companies work for transfer services that are good for about two hours of, of a drive at $300 a pop. And when you're talking about a five minute drive to 10 minute drive, point A to point B and back, that would just not be uh, feasible it, you know, for people's wallets. It wouldn't make logistical sense. So we always just say, catch a cab or an Uber or a Lyft from point A to point B. Let's see, lots of great answers on where people wanna travel. Roughly how fast is the train traveling through some of the areas? So it really just depends on where the train is going through. Obviously, if the train is riding into and through a city, it is going you know, at an average slower speed as it prepares to stop at the station. When you're going through the deepest parts of the country where it's not as scenic, maybe it's going 80 miles an hour. When it's going through the more scenic areas, it slows down a bit to accommodate the visuals from the window of the train. Now, got a question, how to download the handouts? So they should be readily available on the side of the GoToWebinar panel on the handouts tab. If you are not seeing it, feel free to give us a call. The phone number you can see for our hotline is at the bottom right hand of the slide, and we can get the handout sent to you. As for co the cost uh, of the upgrade to first class, there is no um, a, a thing that I think you're referring to the first class, as I mentioned, on the Grand Canyon Railway. I believe it's around $90 a person extra, but when you're factoring in the comfort, the refreshments, and the fact that it's $90 per person, for an hour and 45 minutes, two different ways, round trip, the, the value is there. As for any questions regarding customer service in terms of reservations you've already made or questions on those specific things, you will have to call into the phone number, as you can see, and ask for the guest relations team. They will answer your questions there. Uh, someone asked, if we go for a sleeper, where is our luggage stored? So we normally suggest bringing an overnight bag for your cabin. And then if you're traveling long distance where you will have a check bag, that will go into the check luggage that you will access once you get to the station you're checking the luggage through. So we do normally say maybe bring a carry-on or an overnight bag for the stuff for the duration of being in the cabin. Let's see, are there menu choices? I'm a pescatarian. Yes, there are a full menu of choose from for, for on each of the trains for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if you have dietary restrictions or a certain diet that you have, then Amtrak, of course, can't accommodate it. So someone was asking, can I show a map of the Grand Canyon that was shown during the webinar? I can't go back on slides, I do apologize, but you can call in and ask for it. We can send it to you. As for solo travelers, as you saw, our prices were based on a per person, based on a double occupancy. Now that's how the travel industry standard is. We normally assume it's two people, a couple, or a family, what have you, traveling. 
for solo travelers, we do charge you for the full freight for the room on the train, the full freight for the hotel room. However, you only have to pay for one train ticket. You don't have to pay for two. You only pay for one sightseeing component. You don't pay for two. And for exact prices, give us a call and we can price it out for you. So in terms of taking the luggage to the hotels, you will need to do that. So you couldn't leave some of your luggage at the train station and bring some of it to the hotel. You would have to transfer all of it to the hotel and back. But when you're talking about a cab or an Uber or Lyft, most of the drivers are looking for a tip. They'll probably help you move the luggage. And when you're in the train station, Amtrak uh, or Amtrak Vacations can add what's known as Red Cap Service, which is the gentleman that will help you through the train stations and help you transfer your luggage throughout the station. Uh, as for trips to Mount Rushmore, we do have packages to Mount Rushmore through some of our other brands within our company. The closest train station to Mount Rushmore is, a, is Denver, Colorado, which is about 8 to 11 hours away in a car that you would have to drive yourself. But we do have packages through one of our other brands to Mount Rushmore. We can book it for you. As for the cost for certain packages, for example, as you're sending me in through the questions box, you will have to get that cost for the exact request you're looking for through our vacation consultants at 1-800-268-7252. Uh, as for social distancing in the dome car or in any of the train cars, the conductors are making sure that people are staying far apart. Do, you, do we stop in Spokane? We do, in fact, stop in Spokane. Right now, the border is closed between the U.S. and Canada. Uh, but when it opens up, that is the decision of the Canadian Prime Minister. That's not my decision. Uh, as for right now, the trains aren't going back and forth through them. As for taking a walker uh, or a wheelchair, that can be accommodated. Um, it does not cost, or there is no cost for it, and there, it does not count against the uh, the luggage being brought on the train. Uh, can we get off at stops to stretch our legs? Is there enough time? Yes. And the different stops, whether it's your people are just getting on and off mo for a moment, or there is a crew change, so employee chains, you can get off the train and stretch your legs and walk around, and the conductors will tell you how much time there is. Uh, where the package stops with overnights on the northern route? Well, there's some in St. Paul, Minneapolis, uh, currently Whitefish, Montana, Seattle, uh, Portland, Oregon, but there are over 500 different stations to choose from. So I want to thank you for joining me, folks. If there was any questions I didn't get to, I apologize. There was quite a many people on the presentation. Feel free to give us a call at 1-800-268-7252. And uh, you can chat with a friendly vacation consultant. I thank you all for signing on to the presentation today. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week.